YouTube, what's up, man? The feedback for the series has already been through the roof. I appreciate you guys all the way, man. I said 200 likes. This got up to 300 likes in less than a day. So every time one of these videos gets 300 likes, I will put out a new one. Uh, and like I said, anything you guys want help with, this is like school. There is no such thing as a dumb question, man. If you guys are a little behind, if you don't understand some of the things you see, whether you watch Competitive Man or you watch me play or you watch some of the best players in the world play, whatever you don't understand, please put in the comments below. I will help you guys. And if you don't want to get better at Madden, uh, you don't care, you're one of those, the game sucks, I don't care to be good, then this isn't for you, man. There's other videos out there for you to watch. This is simply about getting all you guys better at the game. This is whether you're an 8-year-old that just picked the game up or you're 88 years old and you've been playing since Madden 92. Whatever it may be, man, all these little tips and tricks can help you guys, man. And uh, So whatever you need help with, put that below in the comments section. 300 likes, we'll drop a new one comment section below you guys know you can watch me live twitch.tv slash dub dot play madden every day also man follow all the socials twitter instagram my tiktok is booming all the highlights up there everything all those links are below but today i'm gonna help you guys with this cover too sounds simple uh probably the most basic defense in real life or you know in, in madden uh all you guys probably have run it definitely played against it you know the weaknesses, you know the strengths, man. For me, it's probably my favorite defense to run. And this is not, uh, you know, this is not pertaining to any specific formation. Just a specific coverage. And what I do with cover two, what a lot of these pros do with cover two, and how to make it a lot more versatile than uh, just a basic cover two. You know, how to, how to manipulate every zone on your field, how to use every single player on your field. And, you know, the cover two is not, not just about, you know, guarding the stock routes that, that it guards. You know, you can do a lot of things in this game. You have a lot of defensive changes you can do. That's what that's why when when that's why as pro players we get so upset when people say it's the same play over and over when it's not. And I'll show you guys so many different things you can do. Uh, and previous play, a lot of you guys play mutt head to head, you know, and previous play is a part of that. The best thing about previous play and it's something that you guys have to start to use as you know obviously at, at at first look as a defensive player you hate it because now the offensive player knows what defense you're in right away right but you can manipulate it so much your cover two can do so many different things and still show up on previous play art as cover two you know so it's just it's just an, it's almost previous play is almost an illusion you can trick your opponent and you got to see previous play as a strength as your weapon as a defensive player and i'll show you guys all the different things we do with cover two a lot of you guys have been saying big, big nickel that's what we will work big nickel we will we'll work that uh play out of that for this this video man but i want to show you i have the san diego superchargers playing mm -hmm. against the kansas city chiefs obviously we're playing against uh patrick mahomes now, I will tell you, the one thing about over G, and this is going to be a huge tip for all you guys out there, pause, that uh, run this this defense. You know, the one thing about this, the, the individual adjustments are a little backwards. It's hard to put your corners in quarters or everything like that because they're the, the, they got the goofy adjustments. Now, I don't know how you guys, I'll show you guys right now. Let's just come out and cover two. We'll play against gun bunch. Uh, we'll play against doubles. Uh, always like just to play against in four verticals or anything, right? So this is just cover two. Now in big nickel, I this guy on the outside, I can't put him uh, or it's something weird. The just see see how I put Jenkins my safety. I try to put him in a third over the middle, and he goes to a third all the way to the left. These are what I call the goofy adjustments. Like they're just not normal out of every set. You see, and sometimes you guys will have problems with this and 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 doing the individual adjustments, and you'd never want this. Like, this is not the cover two we're talking about right now. I know I talked about adjustments, but that's not the cover two we're talking about. Now, I'm not used to these adjustments. Some players I know are used to these adjustments, and uh, they can use them. But for me, I'm not. So I'll show you guys how to fix that so that never happens. You know, what we want to do here is we go to big nickel and you use the packages. The right stick will change the packages. You know, switch your DNs, linebackers, swap, switch the corners, whatever it may be. All you got to do is put it on the first one, slot cornerback, and then you'll get the, the regular adjustments. And what I'll do then is I'll sub out uh, Derwin J. I'll put Let's put Desmond King in the slot. I don't want I want real line. I don't really know who was on this team, but I want to put Derwin back at safety. I, I really don't know these guys that well. Um, we have Michael Davis out there, Casey Hayward, who's a great corner, 91 overall. Um, yeah, so now we have the regular adjustments. So we'll do back to the same thing. That's Justin Big Nickel. 
Uh, some other formations are like that too, I'm really not sure. But this is cover two, right? Uh, one thing about cover two, uh, the safeties, they're really not going to do anything for you. The biggest adjustment I can tell you guys as they snap the ball here. I'm on my DN. Got to find somebody. And there's a little weakness. But in this game, the way they react, man, you can give up the flats all day. But the one thing you guys, I, I would tell you guys, the first step you guys can make for being a better man player running cover two is move these, these guys down. Especially, let's do this, because it's rare that the football's ever in the middle of the field, right? So we'll go back, big nickel, cover two. Oh no, what do I want? I want to respot the ball, is what I want to do. But I can't do that yet. Respot the ball. Put it on a hash. That way you get a better idea of kind of what you're going to see in the game. You're never really going to see the ball in the middle of the field. Because a lot of things I do defensively have to do with, you know, where the weakness is, where the big side of the field is. So here we go. Well, big side, I mean wide side. Double offset. Back to the same play. But that's what I mean. The first the first advice I'd give you is move these safeties down a little bit. Now, Phillips, because he's on the short side, we can get a little more aggressive with that guy. Derwin James still has to cover that sideline. So I want to move him down as much. You know, but move them down. Because that it, the, one, the one thing I notice from watching pros and watching, you know, anybody play, move the safeties down. It, as an offensive player, it changes so much when you move these safeties here. Because if you keep these, you know, Derwin James back here, you can snap throw the ball to Tyree Kill and possession catch right in front of his face the entire game. You know, make him get get up get him up there in the box. You see he has zoned out, as most of your safety is probably doing mud. He'll be able to get back there and stop, you know, a deep fade or something like that. So definitely move these guys up. That's some that's the first word of advice. So now we look at cover two. We have a mid read. And we do have two vert hooks. Vert hooks, honestly, for a passer, I, I hate them. I hate them. In the middle of the field, uh, sometimes they bait me. Sometimes they'll jump up underneath. Sometimes they'll they'll drop back. They really guard a lot of different things. Uh, so my advice, most of the time, I like to keep two of those on the field. Uh, most defenses, I do like to use her the mid read. Now, the mid read has a lot of responsibility. As I talked about these vert hooks, they're short zones. They're going to jump up and be, get short things, you know. So for me, if you're on the mid read, you have to worry about any seams or any posts or anything like that. Uh, but that and that's pretty much what I like. I mean, you have two clouds for silent, two vert hooks, and that's how it goes. But I will tell you, this is one of the biggest tips I can give you guys. Another one that I do pretty much every time I run cover two. I Y shade down. Shade underneath, what that's going to do, it's going to turn my, hard, my cloud flats into hard flats, right? Not only is it going to do that, but it's going to make my vert hooks that much more aggressive. The vert hooks are going to shoot down guard hitches. You see so many people throw hitches in front of your zones. It won't happen like right now. They'll guard hitches. They'll guard drags. If Kelsey's on the drag, Davis will come down here and guard him all the way to the numbers. So you pretty much cannot throw drags on his defense. You can't throw hitches. Nothing underneath. But I don't really want my hard flats because then the deep, the you know the the streaks will run by him. So what I do is I ch then individually change the hard flats and the cloud flats. So now I have these vert hooks really getting aggressive at close to the line of scrimmage, guarding everything short. But my cloud flats are still playing pretty you know passively and allowing things going in the flat underneath. So I have the entire deep deep middle of the field. I wouldn't say deep middle. I would say you know the middle of the field where pretty much where his zone is. Is, is what I got to guard. My vert hooks will do a great job uh, bumping underneath and, and really guarding drags and everything like that, and my clouds will drop back. So this is not a basic cover two. Uh, your opponent will think it's basic cover two, and it, I'm telling you, it will confuse. It confuses me, and it still has to this day. Uh, because these vert hooks play so aggressively, you just think that the flat zones are going to play that aggressively, but they don't. They'll drop back and be passive. So you'll have some aggressive zones out here and some passive, and it will confuse a lot of people. So that's pretty much the first the, the first thing I would do running cover two. Move these safeties in the box. Get a little more aggressive with them. Shade down. Then recloud the outside guys. Boom. Done. And we'll see what, what uh Patrick Mahomes wants to go to here. You can just see, you can just see the diff obviously the flats are open for a little gain right there, but we want to be able to make that tackle. Uh, I just want to show you guys these vert hooks on this play. It's like they don't even back up. They're underneath. They take. You can just see where the cloud flats, they back up a little bit. The vert hooks go nowhere. They are underneath. They are at the line of scrimmage. 
anything in drag, anything like that, they will be able to cover. As you see, they're on the running back right here. Kind of on the flat route, he goes in with this, but he can throw the flat route. Boom, they pick up, what, four yards? That's what a great animation to the tight end. So that's the basic way I like to run cover, too. Uh, love that just for putting it out there. For, for uh, That's an every down type of defense. Now, I will tell you this is pretty much... Uh, let me see. This is what a lot of people do, have been doing for since Madden 18. I talked about it in the last video, what deep blue zones can do. Uh, and that's in, in kind of changing your cover two. Now, right now we have cover two, but I have this mid read, so I have to run down the middle of the field. If Tyree Kill is on a streak right now, I have to run with him. And I don't want to run with this linebacker, Tranquil, Tranquility. Like he's, a, he's a passive guy. He doesn't want to run down the field. I don't want to run with Tyree Kill. I want to be up here. So if I want to play a little bit safer, this is a basic defense that I, I love to run. Now, uh, wide side, short side, I really don't... Uh, it, it makes a difference, but it's not crazy right now. Uh, what I like to do is... This is my extra corner here. I will put him in a, in a flat zone. Now, this is a purple. I know. But what I'll do is I'll take one of the safeties, put him in a deep third. Now, I got to put this corner and put him in a quarter because I don't want him to press. I don't want him to be in a third. So, essentially, this is cover two, but we just changed it to like a cover three. You know, a cover three cloud. We have cover two on the left side. We don't have to worry about Tyree Kill because Phillips will run back there and pick him up. We have our flat zone over here. Now, obviously, I'm missing a vert hook, so I have more responsibility on Tranquil. But it gives me a lot more safety over the top. I don't have to worry about Tyree Kill running down the middle because I have Phillips. I would still, I mean, Tyree Kill and Phillips is a bad matchup, but we don't have that many bad matchups in Mutt like this. But I would still probably put this guy here. The one thing about it is you could do this. You know, but then it makes it kind of obvious that you're doing that setup. So you kind of want to just keep these guys looking like a cover two shell. And there you go. So you have your flat zones covered. You still have your vert, vert hook. And you still have your, your flat zone over here. Now, I wish I could put him in a cloud flat. And you can do that by shading down and shading up. Puts him in a cloud. But now this vert hook won't play as aggressive. He'll drop back because my entire defense is shaded. There it is. Those are the basic things I like to do with cover two. Makes it a lot harder to pass on and uh, makes makes your defense a lot more versatile. Now, this guy's going to go back to the huddle every play, and he's going to say, damn, that guy's just running cover two. I got to go to my cover two dot. And what's the cover two dot? Throw it deep down the field. But when he snaps the ball and sees your safeties move into a cover three, he's going to throw a lot of picks, take a lot of sacks, and there's a bunch of different things you can do to try to confuse your opponent. So those are just the basics of cover two uh, and the things that I do out of every defense, whether it's 1-4-6, 3-4 uh, odd, um, what, whatever, nickel normal, big nickel like that, dollar, whatever defense you guys are comfortable running, you can implement those same principles into your cover two out of your set. Like I said, this was befriending the bot. Hope I got all you guys to get better at the game and make your cover two that much more high power. This video gets up to 300 likes, and you guys comment below what you want me to talk about, what you want, what you guys need help with. Bang, I'll drop another video. Hope you'll, hopefully tomorrow.